What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking out a title called Arcticide that has a demo out. I've been following this one on Twitter for a really, really long time and I'm glad to finally get my hands on it. This game is a natural progression of what I expected to happen after Stalker Gamma went viral and became like a super popular game. It's really fun. Arcticide develops on that idea, so it imagines what if Stalker Gamma was a roguelike and you went through procedurally generated zones back to back that are full of hazards and full of problems and full of bandits and stuff like that and you use the loot that you collect from each map to make it further and further and further into the zone. I think that's a really good idea and so I don't know if meta progression and whatnot is in the game yet but uh, there will be meta progression that allows you to start out with better equipment and things of that nature as time goes along. And I'm very excited about this title, so let's dive on in. This demo is playable. You can check it out down below in the description. On top of that, you can also take a look down there if you wanted to find a link to my Twitch stream and also my Discord, where you can interact with me live on a daily basis and say what's up. Let's go ahead and hit the game. We'll put it on normal difficulty, and let's see if we can have a, a pleasurable trip down into the zone. So here we are, bottom left-hand corner of the screen. You can see we've got stamina, HP, and we've got a number of meters that we need to maintain for like how cold we are or how much food we have. This right, right here will give you some like basic backstory. We crash landed in the middle of the zone and now we've got to kind of do our thing. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the crate and get our starter gear. It does have a Tarkov style inventory, although I don't know if you can rotate things yet, but they're definitely going to want to get rotation in there. We've got an MRE, we've got duct tape, We've got some light bullets. We've got a decryption kit because some things in this game are biometrically sealed and we need to be able to decrypt it in order to get in. We've got a bandage and we've got a water bottle. Not a lot to go off in the beginning of the game, but it is something. We'll go ahead and put the Makarov on our first slot right there. And we've got our little Makarov that we can aim down sights and it's gonna give us a choice of two zones that we can go to. We can go out to the Tundra or we can go to the Old Town. Let's go to the Tundra first, because I think the Tundra will naturally link on into the Old Town. Let's see if we can have ourselves a fun-filled adventure without getting ourselves popped full of high-caliber holes, shall we? There's been a lot of that going on lately with Helldivers being out. I've had a lot of holes popped in me. Lots of 380s dropped on my head, so I'm feeling a little bit PTSD'd out right now. This gun's loaded, right? Alright, it's got nine rounds in it take a look and see what we see around here. The good news, there's something over there. I don't know what it is. I saw it move into the bushes. We'll keep our head on a swivel, I think. We're not really built for long-range engagements right now, so let's stay nice and stealthy. And we'll see if we can find something good in here. Is that an airdrop? Sounds like an airdrop. There are supply drops that happen from time to time. We've got a decryption kit right there. I hear footsteps. I can't see who's making them though. Uh, it's gonna be a shotgun guy. We got him. It's okay. He's down. We took a little bit of a scuffing, but we're not bleeding. It looks like it was a graze. Combat in this game is hyper deadly. Don't get shot. Uh, getting shot is a really bad idea. As with real life, probably try to avoid getting shot with bullets or anything fun like that. And we've got bookcases over here. I don't think we can loot these. But we will want to loot that guy over there and maybe see if we can take his gun. Uh, the game does not have loose loot laying around. That is one thing that I hope they get into the game later. Thought I heard a footstep on my right. We'll kind of stay low for right now. This is a big zone. Uh, the goal of the game is to find your way out of this area. So they give you this little tracking thing right here. And if you walk in a direction, you see that little ticking, refreshing distance? Uh, that's the exit. You're trying to find the exit. That's the whole goal of the game. For right now, there's no environmental stuff outside the walls. They've got This is a very, very basic demo, basically being used to, to pitch the game. We've actually got a couple of Simonovs over here. Let's use a decryption kit on one. An aluminum silencer. Can I put that on whatever I want? I can. We can put it on the Simonov. Nice. I don't know if I can strip the bullets out of the Simonov just yet. We may need to decrypt it in order to do that, but it does have 10 rounds, and I want those 10 rounds. A bigger gun is hugely useful right now. 
We may not be able to strip the rounds out of it just yet. That may not be an implemented feature. And there's our Simonov. And you can see those guys way deep over there. There's two of them. He's down. What a punchy sound effect. I liked that. There's another one right there. I'm basically shooting at map dots. There's a miss a little bit to the right. Oh, there's another one right there too. I got a little bit greedy with that. Did he just throw a grenade? He just threw a grenade. We gotta get down. Okay. Yep. Oh, I'm out of rounds. My gun's jammed. Hold on. Not great. Would definitely prefer my gun not be jammed. We got him, but we're pretty beat up. We're not feeling great right now. Uh, that's only got one bullet left, so I would say just throw it on the ground and swap that one out. It's jammed. It's only got one bullet left. Who cares? Uh, we also probably want to duct tape that gun to make sure it doesn't happen again. I've got a syringe over here. I would say maybe use the syringe. The game does have item usage animations already in the game, which is really fantastic. Uh, so we've got ourselves healed up right there. I don't have any more healing items, though. Let's go check all these bodies and see what they've got for us. So there's another Simonov over here. We got a Simonov and an over-under. I don't think we can hold it for right now. I just heard another chirp, too. I think they're out here. I'd say worry about it in a minute, but those radio chirps, dude, they put my hair on edge. They make me real, real nervous. I don't like it very much at all. With this Simonov over here, can I strip the, uh... I was gonna say, if I can get my silencer back, I would like my silencer back. There we go, because I knew. I could see the comments already in the comment section being like, this idiot just left his silencer behind. Wasn't intending to. I just heard the chirp of a radio, and it kind of made my heart jump a little bit. We got a dead guy over here. There should be two dead guys over here. I don't hear any footsteps. This guy was rocking some buckshot. We've got a tactical light right there. We've got a novel. I think that's just like vendor trash. Ooh, an explosion over there. Somebody ran into something that's not being friendly. Some duct tape. We'll fix the gun up again. We'll get some more light bullets. Good stuff. All right, let's go search this little village real quick. We need a few more healing items, so if there's, like, any loot laying around, that'd be fantastic. I don't think these doors open. I think this is just kind of like a, a set-dressing village. If there is anything around here, it probably won't be much. There is an open house over here, though, so let's go ahead and invite ourselves on in. Crouch jump on in here. Looks like we've got some kind of computer lab. No cabinets and no crates, though. Definitely lots of people shooting over this way. Maybe we can third party it. Let's go look. There's definitely somebody over here. I hear his radio chirping. Whatever else is happening. Oh, there's an airdrop over there. I see it. Okay, we'll try to get it. Where is this guy? I heard the chirp. But I don't see him now. I'm keeping it low and in cover. Just trying to see if maybe he's back in these little nooks and crannies. Uh, procedural generation still needs work. You're going to find a lot of weird looking villages. For right now, I'm guessing that this demo is part of a pitch deck to try to pick up a publisher would be my guess. And honestly, it's a pretty good one. It's fairly enjoyable. I guess the explosion sounds are coming from off map, so we don't need to worry about it that... Oh, no, there's a guy over there. I see him. Got him. I don't know if that one over there heard it. I don't know if they respond to that kind of stuff. Need that guy to peek his head up again. 
However, we are on a timer right now when it comes to our hunger and our thirst, so we kind of need to keep, like, forward movement, too. And that's sort of what I dig about this title. The roguelike of a killer, like, roguelitification of Stalker is a really, really good idea. Like, it's a super top-tier idea. What's he got? He's got another Simonov that's in good shape, huh? And this one isn't locked. I guess I'll carry it around with me. Just in the off chance I end up needing it. Damn, my man got the big gun. He got the docka doc. He got the chopper. I only got three rounds left, and we got no healing left, so now I've got gross vision. That guy over there, I think, is coming to check on his buddy. Oh, no, there's two of them. Ah! Well, it's not looking good, boys. I want that airdrop, but I don't know if it's worth it to go after. Ugh, there's another one right there, dude. Eh. Stupid bush, get out of the way. I don't know if I should engage him from a different direction. Let's see if we can take the high ground real fast, but I'm pretty beat up right now. I got like one hit left in me. We made the run to cover, so that's good. I think I got him. I think I snapped that shot off just in time, but there's another one coming from the left. We gotta loot these bodies and we gotta move. They're making us fight for this airdrop, that's for sure. I keep hitting escape to get out of menus. Gotta stop doing that. Where'd this one die at? There's the next one over here. Search that body. We've got Bronco FMJ. Fix the Simonov up again. I really wish I knew how to strip the bullets out of these things. I'd like to get the ammo back. Very, very badly, because I don't want to carry this around with me. I just want the 10 rounds so I can reload the good one. Oh well. Decryption kit. Sleeping bag. We need that for sleeping, obviously, at some point. Uh, we are going to get tired. I don't know if that gives us any health restorative effect, but it'd be nice. We got a Molotov and a laser sight. I'll throw the laser sight on the pistol. We'll see how that goes. See if that turns out to be something enjoyable. Hey, and look, we got a little laser now. Sweet. So what is this thing? I've never seen one of these before in all my runs. I did a bunch of runs prior to... Oh. Select an item for printing. Medium FMJ, medium ammo. We can get a carbon fiber silencer or a pump shotgun. Uh, what do I have in my inventory right now? I've got nine buckshot. I mean, I have a rifle, too, so, I mean, I guess we can just 3D print some bullets. All right. Hey, we're locked and loaded on the gun that I actively want to run, so I'm okay with it. We probably want to find some shelter soon. Dude, this redness is getting me right now. I think there's another one up there, too, on the supply drop, and there's the exit as well. So I think either way we were going to have to, like, fight our way through this area. I don't think there was too many ways around it. Definitely much more guarded than I expected, though. Oh, there's multiple exits. We can go different places. That's fun. Uh, so we got grenades. Grenades are good. Grenades probably be helpful. Light ammo I would feel better about. Oh, light hollow point. There's different types of ammo, too. Okay, well, I guess I'll leave the Simonov there since I can't figure out how to get the ammo out of it. We need to eat and we need to sleep. So let's go ahead and get the MRE on out. We'll get the water bottle on out. And then maybe we'll try to get the sleeping bag, too. All right, so first things first, MRE. Eat out of it real fast. Oh, that gave us a little bit of hydration back. Good. Let's see if sleeping helps. So we got a sleeping bag over there. Sleeping does not restore health. 
So we've kind of got to like make a decision here. There's also foraging. There's like a fireweed right there. I don't know if fireweed's going to help out with whatever misery we have going on right now. It gives us five healing. It's something. There is a crafting system in the game, though. I don't remember exactly where the button's at, but there's crafting. Like, you can make stuff. There it is. This little button over here. So we can get medicinal paste if we can find crowberries and lingonberries. We've got fireweed poultice if we can get another fireweed that'll heal us for 50. Let me see if that's going to be actually something feasible here. If I, I'd rather get the 30 healing than the 5 healing if I can manage it. Oh, we're dead, dude. There was a guy over there. He was guarding the fireweed, bro. All right, well, let's run it back because I feel like we've still got time in the video and we're still good to go. Throw that in right there. Just grab all the goodies. Can I, like, shift-click all this in? I can, yeah. Shift-double-click. There we go. So I went to the tundra last time, and that felt like a mistake. Let's try the forest this time. You never know what map you're going to get. So let's take... Am I already under fire? Maybe. Let's move. I don't know for certain. Something's shooting. Just hit the wall near me, so I don't know what's shooting, but something's shooting. This looks like a dead end over here. I'm just going to try to get out of dodge real fast. I don't like being shot at. Oh, there's a sniper on the roof. That could be problematic. I do like that that's a thing thematically, though. I don't know if we're actually harming the guy. I mean, I think we got him. It was a little ammo intensive, but I suppose that's life. I'm going to try to do forageables a little bit more aggressively this time. Hopefully I can get up there and check out his kit. I want to see what he's got. want to run them pockets, boy. All right, so we got... Oh, there's a guy over there, too. They're everywhere. See if maybe I can pull him back. Oh god, he's closing. Okay. He's a closer. I think we got him. I think he's down. I'm low on ammo, but like he's down. Aggressive man. A tactical flashlight. An iced tea and a Molotov. I'll take all that. That all sounds acceptable to me. Is anybody else over here? I want this fireweed. Oh, that's Devil's Club. Never mind. You can find me with the club. Now I'm going to have to go listen to that song again. That's a verified bopper of the early 2000s. No line of sight over here. Don't see any herbs or anything. A little graveyard cooked away in the corner. I think there's a 3D printer over there. That means there's going to be more guys, though. Yeah, there's definitely a guy right there. I can see him. He's in front of the building. If we can get after him without aggroing him, that would obviously be ideal. I don't know how helpful that's going to be, but... I'd rather engage from a distance if I can. Don't move a muscle. Move up a little closer on him. I think we got him. I only got three bullets left, though, so that kind of sucks. Taking down that sniper was a little bit uh, more of a problem than I expected. Laser sight. Hey, light ammo. It's hollow point, but it'll do it. A foreign credit card and some shrimp chips. I personally have never heard of shrimp chips, but I do love shrimp and prawns of all kinds. So I get down on that. That sounds okay to me. What do we got over here? Nice, dude. Got that fireweed for a little bit. A little bit of a tactical snack if we end up needing it. 
And I think we just close the gap with whatever this area is over here. There's an open door on that side, and then it looks like there's a whole bunch of, like, I don't know, advertisements or something over there that are still up and functioning. Makes Somehow makes the place feel even more abandoned when there's, like, random objects that are still lit up just out in the middle of whatever this is, you know, in the zone. No loot inside of there from what I see so far. With three bullets left, I'm not feeling incredibly confident about my ability to ex succeed out here. That'll work, though. I gotta figure out how to change ammo types. It is the Z key, apparently. Oh, uh, there we go. All right, put in the hollow points. Yeah, give me the hollows, because there's like two more guys down here, and we gotta deal with that contingency first. There's one. The other one's over there. I don't know if he sees me yet. He's now down. It looks like the hollow points slap a lot harder than the bullets we currently had. So I guess the FMJs don't do as much damage. Hollow points in real life, they mushroom out when they hit the enemy, which causes the uh, the bullet wound to look kind of like a kind of like a uh, partially blown up balloon because the bullet when it folds outwards it accumulates mass on the front of it like flesh mass that increases the diameter of the penetration size and so hollow points are pretty good unless the enemy has armor if the enemy has armor hollow points are soft tipped so if they have armor you're 100 percent not getting through it with a hollow point it'll still hurt don't get me wrong getting shot to soft armor will still sting pretty good it's not going to feel great but we might as well be shooting BBs if he's got any kind of body armor on. Stop that. It's not what I wanted. I just pressed F one time. Just the one time is all that I pressed the F. I don't think we're going to be able to get to the sniper's loot, unfortunately. Which sucks. Because loot kind of at a premium right now. A headlamp. I already have one of those. Apparently pictures of his family, too, which is kind of grisly. Ugh, out of ammo again. I'm always out of ammo, boys. All right, there you go. Dude, you need the hollow point rounds. The hollow point rounds are sleepers. Just absolutely choking these kids out. Well, I messed up. I messed up real bad. Shouldn't have taken that shot. Ow. It was a mistake. Everything's a mistake. I hate my life. My last three bullets. What do we have? Shrimp chips. I don't think those stack. Iced tea. Water bottle. Another molly. I need a loot. You got anything? A letter and a bandage? Damn, that's not helpful. Please don't be another one. If there's another one, we got big problems. Foreign currency, shrimp chips. Okay, throw the shrimp chips and throw an iced tea in there. We'll have a little tack snack. Oh, I can use it multiple times. Yay for me. All right, tack snack taken care of. A little bit of iced tea, too. Apparently that raven has all kinds of things to say about our current engagement. Saying, get out of the way, I'm hungry. I'm like, listen, man. I'm in like a life or death situation right now. We have no... Well, we have a decryption kit over there. A Sitka S3, the official, raf, right, the official rifle of the Ranger Corps. Okay. I mean, anything's better than nothing, so... Oof, that ring sight's going to be a little bit difficult to deal with. Okay, well, hopefully it hits hard. We'll try to land the opening shot, I guess, on any of these guys. Because this thing does look like it's got some bump to it. A sawn off over under. We've got a hazard mask. So we can toggle it on and off, and it gives us biotoxin protection. We've got buckshot right there. 
I'll probably take the gas mask. I don't know if I'm going to need it just yet, but we'll take the gas mask in case we find an area that seems to belie that environmental protection is necessary. Oh, dude, it's like a lever action. Looks like it one taps though, so that's good. It definitely one taps. Okay. I don't have any ammo available. I thought I had medium rounds. Does that not shoot medium rounds? It shoots heavy ammo. Christ. I have a frying pan and into the fire. Uh, we got a pump shotgun. That's something. It ain't nothing. Give me the pump. Give me the pump. With a pistol grip pump on my lap at all times. All right, so we got the pistol grip pump. We've got a light stock over here. Does that one have a stock on it? Oh, the stock is encrypted, so we're going to need to find an encryption kit before we can do that. Fair enough. I need another fire weed is what I need. Sweep and clear this place real quick. Any loot? Nope. No loots. It's okay. I think we're kind of like full up right now. Loot is honestly looking okay for me at the moment, and I'm not that upset about it. Now that we have the pump, we should be a little bit safer. Travel to the musk egg. Where does that one go? To the old town. I don't think I'm quite done here yet. I still think I want to look around. There may still be contacts left, but if I can find another fire weed or whatever, we can heal off some of this damage. Which I think would be a wise decision before we go into any new operating zones. That's Devil's Club, unfortunately, so that's not going to help out too much. And this is just like the back end of where we already were. There, there was a loot container over here, though. Heavy armor-piercing ammo right after I threw out the other gun. I probably won't go back for it. I'll uh, be honest with you, I probably won't go back for it. It does one tap. But five bullets on a gun that we're not guaranteed to get more ammo for makes me feel nervous. We got anything over in this little, like, communal area? I mean, there's an herb. So it looks like we can use Devil's Club to make a splint, I guess. Looks like it's also used for an antibiotic juice if we can find yarrow. I think all the plants mostly look the same, though, so I'm not sure if we're going to find a yarrow. Good news is that iced tea we just drank just completely and totally refilled our energy, so we don't need to sleep. Is that a yarrow? It is! We actually got the stuff we need in order to make the antibiotic poultice. So we'll make one of those. And then I guess we'll rub the cream on it. And that'll make us feel better. Yeah, that 65 heals definitely appreciated. I'll take that. If I can find a little more duct tape to patch up this shotgun, I feel a little bit safer about it. The good news is, with a pump, it being a little bit dirty shouldn't matter too much. But then again, if we get any pinched rounds or whatever, we're going to regret it. I guess the only question left then is, like, what zone do we go to next? I'm going to grab this herb first, though. This herb over here. I must have walked right past it. I don't know. More Devil's Club, which allows us to make more of those antibiotics. Uh, we can do the musk egg, or we can do the old town. Let's do the old town and kind of see how that goes. It definitely looks towny. Crowberries. What are you? Lingonberries. Fantastic. Got the whole berry medley rocking around. Let's pick through this area real fast. We'll listen for any sound cues. And see if we hear anybody. So far, no major flare-ups. That don't mean they're not here. Okay. I see you. Ooh, okay, he's tough. He's tough and fast. 
He's an operator. But you know, I'm a machine with this grip, bro. When they give me the bitch, it's all over. What you got? Another pump shotgun, some light ammo. He definitely was not shooting a pump shotgun at us. Pump shotgun got any parts on it? Dude, it's such a bummer that I can't strip the ammo out of there. What does the heavy stock do? Lowers recoil, lowers handling. Okay, we'll throw it on the gun. We do have a lot of recoil on this thing. I don't know who the hell this guy was. But he was like flamed up. This guy was ready to go. He wanted the smoke. He wanted all of it. He saw me and instantly pushed. He was like, contact, contact. Heard another chirp on my left. We got a loot crate and a 3D printer over there. Some more buckshot. That's what's... Oh, we got flechette ammo. Okay. Thought that light was a headlamp for a second. I got scared. Definitely somebody over there. He might be behind that building. Oh, there's a guy over there. I saw him. Yep, there he is. I guess it depends if he's like operator status like the last guy. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. We might want to prep for this a little bit. So I can make medicinal paste. I don't have enough lingam berries for the rest, but if we find some more red berries, we can make another heal. Oh, there's three of them, and one of them's got that radio backpack on. I don't know if this is worth it. Okay, Serpentine, hide amongst the graves. Back to the alley. We just ducked a lot of scow. All right, let's go back to the alley and see if they close. I don't know if these guys have like an eminent knowledge of where I'm at, which means I can actually kind of predict on them to pull in directions that I want them to pull in. Yeah, it looks like a push to me. Ow. Alright, well there's one down. I got a wound though. Dude, if you don't get up and over that right there, I swear to God. Alright, reload the shotgun. And then... Medicinal paste feels like a good idea right now. We got clipped pretty hard, man. I do have a crippling wound right now, which is a bit of a bummer. Oh, he went around. Oh, man's crazy. Another one bites the dust. Luckily, you can time their shots. Should be two more to deal with, though. Oh, he got the AR, though. I might have to do some light inventory management here. Oh, I have a syringe? Nobody said I had a syringe. Let's go. Oh, much better. Yeah, I'm going to need to get that AR in here, like, right now. That's what I'm going to need. Let's go ahead and make that happen, Cap'n. Is it on burst fire right now? Fireweed. All right. Hold on. I want to see... How do I change weapon modes? Change fire mode is X. Okay, that works. Put her on single shot for a second. There's a little machine pistol in there. A carbon silencer. Yeah, throw that on our gun. We got a, a nade on that side. 
I do wish that I had a scope or something with it. Like, that would really help with some of these engagements. Okay. I think he's the Terminator, bro. I think he's legitimately the Terminator. The shotgun. Wow, what a god. If I took that many bullets, I'd be proud of myself. My man must have had armor on or something. Because those bullets, they were not getting through. I had a point to make, and he was, like, denied. Playing cards, bandages. I don't really care about any of the trash loot. I'm guessing there's going to be vendors or something later on that you can collect the trash loot for. UHT milk. Are we hungry and thirsty yet? We are kind of hungry and thirsty. But yeah, this is Arcticide. Go check out the demo. I think it's pretty cool. If this is, like, a pitch demo, basically, to attract, like, financials and get people to fund the game... I dig it. I'd fund it. I think the game is pretty fun. I, I think it's enjoyable, even in its very primitive state right now. It's a game that has you feeling paranoid. It's a game that definitely makes you scared to stick your neck out. Like, I feel like I'm a mercenary stalker in the zone who's not very good at this. And everyone around me is like a professional league killer. So, it definitely has that paranoia to it. Did that guy push over that way? Who can tell? They were aggressively guarding this over here, though. Oh, there's a guy right there. I don't know if he sees... Oh, there's two. Yikes. Okay, yeah, maybe wrap in a couple more rounds. But I think this is a, this is a pretty good pitch demo, dude. This is not a bad pitch demo. I'm impressed with this. It reminds me of like a little bit of Escape from Tarkov with some Stalker mixed on in there. I'm also getting just the smallest hint of like, Sir, you are being hunted, which is an under-referenced game as well from the early days of indie games. And so I've really enjoyed my time here today. As you can tell from the length of the video, actually it edited down. I played for a long time, but it edited down to like a normal length. I like the game. I think it's cool. I hope somebody funds it. I hope they bring in some money. I hope it gets made independently if they can't get that money. This right here is Arcticide. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what is worthwhile. In the world of indie games, every single day so that you don't have to. And today I seem to have stumbled upon something really, really good. I've been following it on Twitter for a while. And like, obviously the AI needs work. Obviously the map gen needs work. This doesn't matter. This is their first demo that they've ever released. And you can already feel the promise and the flavor up in there. If they can get traders and people you can meet up with for storyline quests on different runs and meta progression and all that kind of stuff, I could see this being highly addictive. But we'll see what happens with it. I'll see y'all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. But for now, it's time for me to go. Bye, folks.